Hello everyone, in this video we are just going to discuss in detail about pointers declared and defined for a particular structure in C language, their behavior and how you can access the structure member elements with the help of pointers in C language. Let's get started. So let me just open the Keel Microvision IDE. So I hope you remember this program that we wrote in the previous one of our videos called structures and bit fields explained and in this video we just declared the structure right over here with three different elements one is day month and year with bit fields for each and every elements that is this is having five bits this is having four bits at the max and this element is having or will be consuming at the max of 12 bits we have named the structure with a name called date and here underneath it we have just declared and defined a structure variable called underscore date date of underscore date and inside the main we have just printed the size of the date variable that is the size of the structure variable so i'm just going to delete all these bit fields i don't require it anymore in this video So just remember that this is just a declaration or a piece of record for just information passing. So wherever you write down a structure, it is just a book of record or just a information or collection of information. So this is a collection of information of day, month and year. That is a date collection of information declared in a program. So this will be defined whenever you declare and define a variable for this structure or this structure will be consuming memory only when you declare and define a variable so right over here in the line number 30 we have just declared and defined a variable of the structure called date with the name of underscore date as a variable so here it will be consuming memory space so for this particular variable will be holding at the max of 12 bytes as we know int is having 4 bytes as the memory space in the compiler so we are having three different int elements inside the structure so this one particular variable declared and defined with this type of structure that is the user defined data type of structure date will consume 12 bytes at the memory it is also a kind of declaring a user defined data type in our program so our user defined data type is date and the variable is underscore date. So now we are just going to understand how you can declare and use pointers for the structure. So before going into that, just remember that this date or underscore date variable will be containing all these elements of the structure. Starting from the first element day. It will be having next element to be month and next element to be year and let me just date dot day is available at the location of so now just assume that this date dot day is available at a location of 0x2000 and date dot month is available at the location of 0x2004 as we know this is an int variable so it will be having a maximum size of 4 bytes so the next variable month will be located at a memory space this address plus 4 that is why i have added 0x2004 and the next variable called date dot year will be available at the location of 0x2008 that's it so at the max these three will be consuming 12 bytes at the memory space and this is the base address of the variable as we know this is the first and foremost element this is the base address so as we know since the structure right over here is just a declaration it will not be consuming any memory in your CPU so you cannot directly point to the structure declaring and defining a pointer to the structure you can declare as pointer 
of this type in your program for example you can do that by just writing date of let's take it to be ptr so now we have successfully declared and defined a pointer called ptr which is of type date and as we know pointers are variables which holds address of another variable so obviously we just want to write some address of variables inside this pointer which will be also a variable of type date so let's take the same variable underscore date and i am going to write the base address of this date to this pointer so i can write like ambition of underscore date so now what happens here is the base address of this variable underscore date will be loaded to this pointer variable so base address as we assumed this is 0x2000 is the base address of the date so using this pointer you can either point to the underscore date dot day underscore date dot month or underscore date dot year indirectly so let me just show you how you can access the member elements for writing some data to the structure variable elements using the pointers declared and defined so for accessing and writing some value to structure elements using normal variables we do like underscore date dot day is equal to one underscore date dot month is equal to two underscore date dot year is equal to 2000 etc so this dot operator is very much useful for writing some value to the structure elements for a normal variable declared and defined for a particular structure but in case of pointer variable declared and defined and base address of a structure variable passed to that pointer you can just access the member elements and write to them with the help of pointer and the symbol called hyphen greater than two four just in twenty two. That's it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to demonstrate this i'm just going to print the day is underscore date dot day month year month here and after altering the variable with the help of pointer i'm just going to print the same now i'm just compiling this program You can see we are getting zero errors and zero warnings now i can run the program so you can clearly see what i have done right over here is i have just written the values for the structure variable declared and defined that is date of day i have written the value one date of month i have written the value two date of year i have written the value 2000 and i have printed these three values on the debug serial window and suddenly after that i have just altered the same variables with the help of pointer declared and defined so to this point particular pointer declared and defined right over here of the same structure type i have written the base address of the variable declared and defined right over here so this is also a variable of type date and i have written the base address of this variable to the pointer variable and using this pointer right over here i have altered these three values to be 2, 4 and 2022 and after that i have printed the above altered value on the debug serial window now i am just going to run this 
now when I execute this program or run the CPU you can see we successfully got the result to be day 1 month 2 year 2000 and after alteration using the pointer day is 2 month is 4 and year is 2022 so using this methodology you can declare pointers to structure and write base address of the same structure variable to that pointer so that you can alter the value of each and every elements of the variable of the structure declared and defined using the pointer declared and defined right over here indirectly using the hyphen greater than operator like this but if you are declaring and defining a normal variable you can use the dot operator and if you are declaring a pointer you just want to use this particular operator this is the major difference so i hope you learned how you can declare and define a pointer to structure in c language and how you can load the address of a particular structure variable to the pointer and how you can alter the structure variable elements using pointer declare and defined for that particular structure in this video see you in the next video thanks for watching